G'day guys, Carl from Go Travel in the garage with the big girl, but this isn't a big girl video. This is a video on my new cooler, or Esky, Esky cooler. It's a very American thing, isn't it? Cooler. I was gonna buy a Yeti, I didn't buy a Yeti, but I bought what I think is Yeti's biggest competitor. I bought a Dometic Patrol cooler. Whilst Black Friday was on, I only paid like 260 bucks for this thing, I think, delivered to my door, so it was pretty good. I, I actually went and had a look at this before I bought it. They sell them at BCF, and it was quite good because I managed to compare a Yeti and one of these side by side, and there doesn't seem like a lot in it. What's in the internals? Don't know. But I feel like it's going to be a good thing. So let's get into it, open it up, and we'll see how good it is. And also, Dometic Patrol. How could I not buy a patrol cooler when the big girl is in fact a patrol? Oh yeah, 35 are back on too. One of the main reasons I decided to buy one of these was actually because of the colour. <laughs> cool is that? Wow, that is uh, very aqua. How cool is that colour? <laughs> it is the coolest, most girliest colour there ever is. It's like a aqua, turquoisey sort of colour. So the reason I bought it, like I say, side by side with the Yeti Tundra, very equivalent quality. So now you're thinking, why did I buy an Esky? I've got heaps of fridges. Plain and simply, I just want ice to put in my spirits. And when you've got a fridge, you can't carry ice. So I went, you know what, stuff it. I'm just going to buy an Esky for my overnighters. I always wanted to buy a Yeti cooler, but I just couldn't live with the price of it. In saying that, these things, when they're not on sale, are the same price as a Yeti Tundra, of the equivalent size. Well, that was a fail. So the main reason I bought the Dometic is just price. I, like I said, I managed to pick it up at a deal, at a bargain on Black Friday. So I just went, stuff it, let's give it a go. But it is cool and it has all very similar features to the Yeti. Very thick construction, feels about the same weight as the Yeti when I jumped in the shop and had a look at them. So big rubber, good grip handles on rope, so easy enough to grab. And then on top of that, when you actually pick it up, the rope obviously moves so it makes it, it's not rigid, it's easy to carry. And there is enough room for your hand to get in there. Another thing that's cool, it's got these sort of, um, I guess you call them like cutouts in the lid which if you want to just put a ratchet strap over it and strap it in, you can strap it into the back of a ute, trailer, whatever. Um, of course, if you do use them straps, you won't be able to open the lid. Another thing, big heavy duty feet, like rubber stoppers on the bottom. Um, Dometic to Boston, embossed in the bottom, kind of just cool touches. Big heavy duty rubber, like latches for the lid. Dometic logo underneath, not that logos and branding really worries me these days. Um, nice big thick rubber fridge seal on it. As you can see, the construction is quite thick, so let's put the calipers on it and see what she actually is. 51 mil, two inches, and the lid thickness. So we're looking at three inch thick for the lid. Theoretically, it should be a very well insulated esky. It does have this um, like basket, which I sort of don't know about. I'm in two minds about this. I think this is a good idea because it'll keep things you want to keep out of the ice and water as the, as the ice starts to melt dry, which I like that idea. I think it's good. Um, comes with all the, some stickers and that. I've, in all honesty, the stickers are more of a gimmicky thing, but whatever. Does also have the ability to put a divider in there. Um, you can obviously buy that divider separately. Nice big drain plug. I'll take this all the way out. The other thing I like about this is it's actually got a hole in it, both sides. So you don't have to take it all the way out to drain the water. And the drain hole is absolutely massive too. Big thick rubber seal on it. Just good quality, feels like good quality. The whole thing feels really good quality. You see the pivot points. So the hinge looks plenty, plenty robust enough. I think this thing's got the potential to give the Yeti coolers, the Tundra coolers, a run for its money. Get holes so you can lock it if you want. My SQ will never be unguarded that I never need to lock it anyway. If one of these rubber latches happens to break, they do just pull out and you can re get replacements for them, so, which I did like that. I thought that was a good idea. This angled bit around the lid is nice and smooth. The top's a bit textured, sides are textured, but overall quality wise, I think it's good. I guess we're gonna have to get out there, go camping, and see how this thing goes. I've got high hopes for this thing, but if nothing else, how good is that colour? They do have some really bright, awesome colours that stand out and, you know, it just appealed to me. Alrighty, jam-packed. Ready for the first Esky test. I think with the amount of ice I've got in there, I think I've got uh, maybe a dozen beers and probably half a dozen premix cans. So, and still plenty of room. You could fit a carton in there if you wanted to. But uh, let's see how this thing goes. I'm confident. In my fashion, I completely forgot to film my ice test with the Esky. The real world, 
in and out camping, esky in the sun, all that stuff. We actually got about two, two and a half days with ice still in the esky, so I was pretty impressed with that. But naturally, you're obviously here because you want to see how good this esky is. So I went down, bought a couple of bags of ice. So what we're going to do, we'll smash them up, we'll throw it in, and we'll just put it in the best conditions possible, and we'll actually test this thing and see how long it actually holds ice for. You've all seen eskies that, oh, I last ice for seven days. Look, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this in the best conditions ever. I'm just going to bash it up, throw it in my office. I'm predicting we'll probably get five to seven days out of it, but we'll see what happens. That is the best part about having an esky. I do also have to say, first impressions, I actually really like this esky. It is so much better than my last one. Coming from using fridges for so long, it's really weird that I love this esky. But anyway, let's see how long this ice can actually last for. I'll say, best conditions possible. So this is the ice after seven days. <laughs> Didn't ever melt, that's how cold, that's how good of an esky it is. <laughs> in all seriousness, I just moved the esky inside. So it's literally just gonna live here. We'll check in on it every day and we'll see how it goes. All right, day two, esky test. How is our ice looking? <laughs> it's formed back into a block. If I drain the water, it'll probably last longer, but stuff it, I'm gonna leave it because it means I have to move it outside. So we'll just let it go and see how long we retain ice for. When it starts getting a lot of water in it, I'll start draining the water then, but for right now, it's still pretty good. Alrighty, day three. Let's have a look at how the ice is going. A little bit more air gap in there now, but still bloody good. Might let the water out of it today. Whoop, 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 we're making a mess. Well, I say, this is definitely best conditions. It's just been sitting in my office, but still, that's probably maybe half the ice melted. Probably not even half. Anyway, I'll keep you up to date. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I've missed a couple of days with the esky. Uh, we are at day six. I think it is day six, maybe day seven. Let's have a look. What have we got? We have a lot of water, but we still definitely have ice in it. It's quite a decent ice, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, just let all the water out. Still cold, still a bit of ice in there. Not much, but that's enough to keep a beer cold. So I want to confirm it. Seven days. Seven days of ice in the Dometic Esky. In saying that, like I said all along, that is perfect conditions it's been not too hot around here lately this esky has lived inside in the cool but definitely can hold ice for a week so after using the dometic patrol i think it's got the potential to replace my fridge on my overnight trips two day trips just because i'm liking ice with my spirits that's really the main thing but to recap on it the it's a good esky the thickness it's great the handles easy to use thick lid Pretty good size for 35 litre. The latches, the latches are perfect, easy to use. <laughs> easy enough for the kids to get in and out of. Good seal on the fridge. Overall, it's just a great bit of gear. So I honestly think that the Dometic Patrol 35 is direct competition for the Yeti Tundra. I think if you're after a good Esky, I definitely reckon they're worth considering. How good is that colour? I love the colour. As girly as it is, I reckon it's a cool colour. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anything, comment it below. Do you think the Yeti's a better Esky? Do you think this can hold its own with the Yeti? Is there another brand of Esky that I don't even know about that is awesome? If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, guys, go travel.